Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our adventures here in Mass Effect 2 and see what happens. We only have one more recruitment dossier left to do. Still can't open up my journal just by pressing J anymore. I really maybe should look at the actual key bindings. We're gonna go pick up a warlord and see how things go. But first, I'm actually gonna look and see. Can I just go? To my still funny henchman one amuses me. Yeah, I don't know why they took away the ability to quick select your frickin' journal. You could do it in the last game, and even during the the frickin' goddamn. Map. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go to the map. It's like, actually, you're not gonna be able to do that at all. I wonder what that orange light at the peak over there, that corner, is moving as I move. Terrified. But we're gonna go grab ourselves a warlord and see what happens from there. See what other kinds of quests open up. Because there are no other quests, just recruit the warlord. So we're gonna go, well, actually we're gonna go grab more resources in this new wonderful world. And then, well, let's see, do I have uh, all probes? All probes. So we're gonna go ahead. Why? Because, why not? That's my answer. Plus, this means that uh, I'll have gone and grabbed resources from every corner of the available stuff. And just means that I won't be uh, encouraged to do it later, but at the same time, I'll be able to go like, hmm. And see if uh, planets restock or not. So it's really for science more than anything. Also, this is just an iridium planet. You know, the one that I have more than anything ever. I just hope that all the resources that I'm gathering will tide me over for a good portion of the game. And again, going by my theory that the original release was painful in resources, so they bumped it up to be good. If that is true, maybe I have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all, just charts. So long as you're not afraid of charts, well, then everything will be fine. And this is just a palladium, not palladium, but iridium planet anyway, so. Let's bounce. I'll glance around the asteroid field. The one downside to this new system is it seems that it's only like spherical planets. In Mass Effect 1, you were able to find, like, random ships. You were able to find asteroids that you could scan. Here, it's like, oh, moons and planets, and that's it. I think the only ship-like things we found was the uh, prison ship that Jack was on, the Omega Station, and the Citadel. Everything else has been planets, and we didn't even get to scan, like, the prison ship, or Omega, or the Citadel. The council calls to curse out Commander Shepard, because he's launching probes at the Citadel. But my scanners say there's a lot of platinum there. Yes, and it is the Citadel's platinum. You cannot have it, Shepard. Where? Probe launched. But I want all the platinum. Hmm. 
Well, it is a poor planet now. We will le leave this poor planet be. And it looks like the only planet left is the one with the Warlord. We'll deal with you later. We're gonna look over. Strabo, Malagus, a moon, relic. Maybe I should just go grab the warlord and deal, because we have lots of resources. And that's no way to start a play, just to go to various places. Oh, we can't even do it. A garbage scowl with a climate was one of the Citadel Council member described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, the Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked. Though they have tried calling it the recycling center of the galaxy, corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensures the Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its ports with magnetons, magnetons, megatons of scrap. Obviously not megatons of TNT. That would be quite the explosive scrap. A shady hospitality and uh, hosp yeah, hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel advisory. Corlos ranks second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems and first in off-world or murder. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's actually a freaking travel advisory against this place. Hmm. I guess I'll stick with my overall team because I feel like Jax would Jack would scare me. And we're saving up so we can give you the rebel treatment. Bear me. I am Commander. Commander Commander. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Hand orders over loudspeaker? Who does that? Stay focused. Wackos. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. The Krogan warlord. If only Rex could be here. <laughs> then again. Eh, I think he'd like to go beat up a warlord. The mighty army that we're building. Observation post. And it's Blue Suns! I'm all down to kill some Blue Suns. Ah. Like, literally. Blue Suns is one of my favorite things to kill. Especially because they've been nothing but a pain in my ass. Even when they're supposed to be guarding a prison, they're just like, oh. You're not even here. Why weren't they helping you? They were just standing about. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... We didn't shoot Son him. Of a bitch. Why did you... He's not hurt Jacob, that bad. you came from floating. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs. Or alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. Metagel, change your mind? I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking... Son of a... <laughs> I just... I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The labs? Wayne Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them creates. for my ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Get rid of them. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Thank dispersed. you. Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There, you see? I'm helping. Hmm. Fortification. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Yeah. <laughs> 
The warlord. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. And why Krogan? What's Shador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Well, start running. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Was scaring him like that necessary? Maybe not. Felt good, though. Come on. Our war I better not get Renegade for that. That was the only option. I got Paragon. Good. I would love it if, like, in, like, a, uh, I don't know, a novelization or something of Mass Effect, if, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> if, like, uh, Commander Shepard, like, randomly looked over at random places and was just like, hmm. Good shot. I feel like there's a med pack over there. And they're like, Commander, why do you think that the blue thin box that opens up at the top of my vision tells me so? Well, like some kind of acknowledgement of that. Jacob, what are you doing? Get behind reliable gotcha. cover. Damn it, Shepard. I saved your goddamn AI life. Nice I think your pull saved his life. No, he's dead. You pulled the dead body. Tons of crazy Krogan. Once again, this is... Well, I was gonna say, is this some kind of leftover of Saren's work? There was a Krogan scientist in Saren's lab. And they give the cloned crazy Krogans guns. Well, it's not an enemy. Oh, hell. Dang it. <laughs> Tank grown Krogan. He's not crazy at us. <laughs> Just you are different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Seven night cycles. Days. Lab bred but full grown. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bred... to kill. No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed. I really should have brought waking. Solace for this. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Hmm. Jador. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger. But also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Hmm, the voice and the enemy. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. 
but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. Hmm. But you failed. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. Maybe he's prone to the insanity that the Merc mentioned. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Is what he's saying possible? I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okira expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't Maybe like he's had much accelerated evolution? Krogan. And finally seven days old. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Taught him enough to test for something. But what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Hmm. Show me the lab. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Temporary ally. I like. Would be hilarious if we got him instead of the warlord. I kind of like him. Glad he's on our side for now. I hope you have a nice life. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Hm. Why have you stayed here? You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight, but I will not run, and I will not follow. Very well. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released. I hope you have a good, uh, and long life. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. You ever get set on fire and then shot? That must suck. Dang it. I overcorrected. Rockets at my boy. Get over here. Take away their shields. We need heavy weapons guy in here now Roll out the Natasha's uh, Brass Beast is probably better Well, that's obviously not the way I like this one. It feels calming a bit. Broken on our six. Copy, goddammit. Where's the door and her personal guard? This looks. 
looks interesting. Ah. More. No rockets. Why are they shooting at each other? It was this guy and the dead body. Maybe because the Krogan are over here? Well, no, there's even more over here. Might you stop? I know I saw you, you bastard. Why did I not reload? You ever just get shot in the leg and instantly die? Dang it. Start shooting. Thanks, Rude, for taking out his shields. Who's the genius that gave them arms? You mean like literal arms or uh, weapon arms? Then again, they're Krogan, so all arms are weapons to them. Data pad hack. All right, blue, orange, kind of compressed, right there. Orange, uh, purple, blue, and orange, white at top. Clone, 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 clone? They were all together. That one was the fastest hack I've done, I think, because they were all bunched up. Either that or I actually saw everything this time. This seems like a really unideal place for a lab. Double dang it. Take him out. Although I should probably save this ammo. At the same time, I should also probably try the SMG. He needs everyone out of the labs. Goddamn rockets. Dang it, Garrus. Garrus? What are you doing? They got in my goddamn way. Guess that one will have less of an angle on the boys. Probably should order my guys more into what do you better. Mean, the door's holding the mix. She'll lose all our toys if we don't get back up. That's what I thought. Come 
Concentrate fire on my position. Concentrate on. Ah! Well, he's finally gone. More data pad for me. I can't talk during those ones because they go by too fast. I stop to say anything and the moment will already fly by and I'll lose my chance. Sure, it's not like a hard, oh, you failed. You just try again. Shot. Annoying. Have a nice trip. Got him. No more rockets. Shepard in a corner! I was wondering why it wasn't a blue cap that I saw. Because he's bald. that lady, aren't we? Silence, Baldy. in here. The death hole. Was that where some of the blue suns spawned? Just want to look about just in case. That probably blows up. But at the same time, I don't think any of them are. We're uh, ever over here for me to shoot. As usual, save before we go into places because uh, decisions and stuff. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. Rana. Hostiles are cleared. Who are you? I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it. Was Wait. Me. Never saw Sarah. It say it, That's how they're cloning. The place. Sorry. You. Yeah. You go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Hmm. Why are you here? I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Skeleton. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Explain Okir's work. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. 
Jadora wants a private army, but Okir <laughs> mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Hmm. Try harder to avoid Finding trouble. You in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. That's not very Paragon. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. I'm all for second chances. Not so sure on third ones. <laughs> Garrus amuses me. All right, we begin with orange, blue, orange. Right there. Green, purple, green. Blue, orange, blue. I like these mini games a lot more than the last one. But still, I really should have brought Solus instead of Jacob. Because he would be all about all this. He's just like, I go crazy. Here you are. I've watched your progress. Alright. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Okir, I presume. I take it you're Okir. You don't seem particularly caged. Or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help. But the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. Yeah. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Hmm. And I bet you will too. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Trader, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. Technically, that was Captain Kirahe's decision. A tough decision. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. You want to destroy your children? We're here about collectors. Nothing more. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Krogan rejects. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. You don't want a whore. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. Specifics of Collector Deal. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. Genophage in numbers. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. 
The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. <laughs> Lol. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Will you join us? Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Why do I get the feeling that the prototype will kill him and will take the prototype with us? I don't know. We already have a mean scientist. Save my prototype. She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Hmm. Why so concerned? Just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will. Stay and do what must be done. Very well. But very interesting. He has no care about the genophage. He just cares about strength. If anything, he's like, we'll conquer the genophage. Embrace it a bit. Dang it. Attention right! You bitch! Oh, oh, I you in the eye! Gotta be careful because the robot's on its way. Need to bring out my heavy hitter. It's about to go off. Fine by me. Dang it. I... I hate that it goes too fast. I call. I didn't actually expect this. We don't get a warlord. We get a perfect soldier. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? It's like he said. He's worse than Okir. And if he's tough, we need him. It's like Okir said. If a thousand die in a clutch, so be it for the one strong. He saw himself as weaker. That his legacy within the true soldier would be greater. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help, I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. <laughs> and he's a big one. He's a big boy. Squad points gained two. Cloning facility destroyed, Okir dead, but his son was recovered. Loss of Okir could be a problem. We'll allow Shepard to decide whether to activate the Krogan. We're activating the Krogan. I believe in this grunt. 
Weapon upgrade. Sniper rifles. <laughs> Concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. Wake up the Krogan now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. Relax, it's sealed. There's no way he's getting out unless one of us lets him out. Or unless Okir installed some sort of failsafe. Or a malfunction causes the tank to shut down. Hmm, so we'll be careful. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. I want to wake him up now. Activate the Krogan. <laughs> decide whether to open the grow tank. Super soldier aboard the Normandy. I got Paragon for that. Got sniper rifle damage. So that I can research. Yes. Give. Oh, it's not actually fully upgrade a weapon, it's just, uh, upgrade a weapon, it takes seven upgrades to get a fully upgraded weapon, gotcha. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. I will head there last. Wait, untitled. Error invalid sender name. Hey Shepard, I heard I have you to thank for getting me out of purgatory. Send a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm gonna carve your name inside of mine and to my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha. Uh -huh. You need to take a uh you did take a shot at me, so I'm on my way out, so I have to kill you, you know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anybody hurt you, they get ideas, so you make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now though. See you around, the people who live here are coming back uh coming back and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you, Billy. Well, that's what you get for showing a bit of uh, kindness to a psychopath. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. Hmm. What do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. <laughs> I'll be careful. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Any conversations I can have? Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. About Later, please. better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. What? Simple treatment would that. no 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 would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Anything else? That'd be a we'll funny be thing to happen. Just in the middle. Just randomly. Oh yes, I think I cured his illness. Wait a minute, no I didn't. Alright, so we'll head to the cruise quarters. Once again we Probably don't have anything to talk about to anyone, except maybe Jack. Yeah, these are the deal. Well, no, there's starboard observation deck. That is for uh, Kasumi, I believe. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Rupert is a good chef. He just needs good uh, things to work with. We'll head down, talk to Jack, and then we'll activate the Krogan. And then we'll talk to the elusive dude. Elusive man! Hey. Come on to talk. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe later. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to That's survive funny. and not be a victim. Tell me about the cult. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. 
I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. Hmm. What happened to him? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Yeah, that figures. You don't trust anyone? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. <laughs> theft of military craft. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. Hmm, destruction of a space station. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Hmm. Piracy. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. Yeesh. I'm vandalism. surprised you even mentioned vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. And you regret none of it? Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. Jack is an interesting character. <laughs> fuck you for making me talk about this, but at the same time, thanks. <laughs> and... Time to talk to, uh, freeze out a popsicle. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Is he aware? Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Is he dangerous? Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. <laughs> if you are asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. Detect anything what off. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Open the Stand tank. By. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's too valuable to leave. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. I want my boy. Give me my boy. Besides, I talk down Rex. I could talk down a perfect soldier any day. Then again, this game doesn't give blocked out charm options, so I don't know. Hello, boy. How are you feeling? Human. Male. Before you die, I need a name. You'll get more I'm than Commander that. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, Legacy, Grunt, Grunt, Grunt was among the last, it has no meaning, it'll do, I am Grunt, 
If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Why, Grunt? You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Huh. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Join my crew. We'll find it. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. Thank you, I'm Grunt. glad you saw reason. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Offer one hand but arm the other. Wise Shepherd. If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. <laughs> Successfully recruit the Krogan. Shepard. Hmm. The mission. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. And the upgrade in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it would also be. Also interesting how different he looks from the rest. Krogan shotgun. Grunt gets a Claymore heavy shotgun. Armory scientists produce a single prototype for Grunt in violation of Council Space's weapon safety standards. The recoil on the Claymore is enough to break a human's arm. Fortunately, Grunt isn't human. Go ahead and have him, my boy. Have a nice toy. Shepard. Hmm. Collectors. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Hmm. The squad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Hmm. How's the upgrade? Anything in your tank? Nothing improved? else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. And want to talk about Just you? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. All right, my dude. That's all for now. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. He talks like my my boy. Like Rex. I awakened the Krogan. I hope you don't mind that there is now a Krogan. So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? Nah. <laughs> what? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, <laughs> and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh. Maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. I love their funny little banter. I wonder how Zadir will handle having a Krogan over there. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Jack. Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. <laughs> I should let you go. I wonder if that's in reference to the end of his loyalty mission, where I literally had a gun pointed at him at the end. I wonder if I can talk to anybody about the Krogan. About Grunt. But yeah, I just had a feeling that after we met the first... Like, uh, that grown Krogan that could talk, I just had a feeling that we were gonna run into... Commander. A situation about you? things. Can we talk? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay, I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I don't know. Can't even talk to other people about Grunt. Would be interesting. But I guess we need to head to the debriefing information room. Talk to the dude. 
because like I said, yep. Like I said, after we get everyone, we get a mission lumped on us. Granted, it looks like we could have ignored going into here for now and maybe good, gone and done things, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but I'm paranoid. Ooh. I step on the table. I don't even get to talk to him in my armor. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. Y'all? One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. This can't be a coincidence. What's he doing on Horizon? Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Commander Alenko... Commander? Base, he got upgraded. I suggest you take it up with him. This can't be a coincidence. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. And note, can we notify the Alliance? We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Eh, better than nothing. All right, sir, I'm on my way. Send the coordinates. On my way? We'll on my way. There. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. He has a floating planet. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Solus. Fix now. How'd you get one of these? Tell me you have something. He smiles! Yes. Not a moment too soon. As we're heading out to collector space. Mainly because it's collectors in our space. <laughs> he, he just says yes. Don't squander heavy weapon ammo oh, unless they're enemies. God damn it. Caden better survive. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? It's either me or the Normandy. Well, it's either Normandy or Collectors. No, it's Collectors, the Rocky Bastards. Get everyone to the safe house. Now! I'll cover you! Run! Hurry! Use your biotics. My boy! Utterly horrifying. But you're telling me this wouldn't show signs of a struggle? Jesus Christ, I would hate that. Utterly horrifying. They build rock into their ships, or build their ships out of rock. Yeah, screw these guys. I have more sympathy for the Geth than these guys right now. Control. Ah, fuck. Assuming direct control. Oh, 
What the hell? Save Felinko, Caden. Again, how is people running from a swarm of monster bugs? All right, let's see. We're going in heavy and hard. Come with me, Grunt. <laughs> grunt. Uh, affectionate. Go ahead and level all that the way up. Grunt's mastery of his blood rage increases his already fantastic regeneration rate, letting his, him survive wounds that would kill any other Krogan. Go ahead and level that up. I have level three of stuff. I think I'll go for level three incinerate. Let's get out there. We're inoculized to these bastards, so we should be able to funt the funt them. Yeah, that works. We're here to kill. Ugly bastards. Sure, these armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainly impossible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. What the hell? Okay, maybe it was just because they were landing. Oh, it's an assassin. That's why you're taking so much damage. Bastard. What? No, just fragile clerk. Not plate. Great. Just slur all my words. I hate crates and explosives. While I'm here, I shall hack the innocent people of their money. Pattern recognition. Damn it. I deserve wasting ammo after stealing from the innocent. Commander, we're getting all interference. I can't maintain the field. Yeah, because that's... The collectors are disrupting communications. Yeah. We're on our own now. Ah, uh, great. It's those husks again. Firing a high impact shot. I thought I was done with husks. Take it. At least the husks are more husks. The husks are more interesting so far. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Then your elusive man was right. Collectors must work for the Reapers. Nice to have you on board. This is valuable. Heavy skin weave. I just wanted to look for ammo. So much goddamn chittering. Sort of looks human. 
this one of the colonists? No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. The Collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. Living victims. That's grim. These husks look different. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Evolved. They still die when you shoot them. <laughs> Living victims. The Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Maybe it's better not to know the details. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. Let's go save the, the colonists. Aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yeah. Your people. Gone. All these empty buildings. Surprise, bitches, when you don't have your special namby pamby bullshit. You're just like every other freak of nature. And I'm the top of that list. I'm the top of the big Namby Pambies. Ah, damn it. Okay, I got lucky there. He says your people are gone, yet... I don't know, maybe some of these people are in these pods. They can't have taken them all. So, the guy, Harbinger, was his name, the assuming direct control bastard. I don't like the amount of explosives that are here. Looks like some type of stasis field. Leaves victims helpless, but fully aware. They've been like this a long time. Okay, we're gonna save just in case, because we're at kind of a split path here. Once we go this way, we go upstairs. Maybe we should have actual shields. Or not shields, but like windows. This is why you need superpowers. And that's why you call me Saul. <laughs> so I can use their own particle weaponry against them. Arrogant bastards just left it out in the open. Bastards. Come on, take control. I am assuming direct control. There's the meme. I didn't know it was from Mass Effect. I just knew that it existed. We are your genetic destiny. Bugs? I refuse that. Get out of here. If you're so genetic destiny, how come I killed you, huh? There's no genetic destiny in dying, jackass. Stay down. 
I feel enraged that you exist within my own, like, area code. Idiot. He can superpower any number of his own... Seems that's over. We, I think we I cut off some of his dialogue. Hey, that's his fault. Dang it. So something about that last one whacked out my brain. Someone's managed to avoid. Company. Get out here. Now. A dude. You... You're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here. They knew you were here. You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean... They're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. Who are you? What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of... box. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Don't you bitch and talk, my boy. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander Alenko? Heard he was some kind of hero or something. That made nothing to me, though. But I'd rather he stayed back in council space. Why was he here? Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Defense towers. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Blaming the Why Alliance. Do you think this is the Alliance's fault. We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. Well, the collectors Why have been going after to get away isolated the colonies before Nothing you. Nothing ever comes from getting mixed up with them. It's not their fault. The collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said he was just here to get the towers online. But mark my word, there's more to it. We could use those towers. If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector's ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. One of us should be able to figure it out. We just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. Hmm. I don't want to... Hmm. He's probably safer with us. We might need your you help. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. All right, fine. You'd probably just get in the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. is fragile. Impact shot. I know you feel uh, this. Uh, the world will uh, be your laboratories. 
I want to get into cover, game. Cover. Oh, sorry. Is the cover not cover enough for my cover? Why are you doing this to me? At least we don't have to deal with the swarms on top of all this. I know I need to find a power cell. Well, not power cell, but like a, a clip. Ah, there are clips right here. Oh, I got some along the way and didn't reload. Now that we're in a safe place, gonna go ahead and save over. We can use this. Biotic damage upgrade. You know it's a main mission when you get upgrade opportunities at the wazoo. How come we don't see more frozen people around? They probably took probably these ones. Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. We should hurry. You know, the ship that we're gonna shoot at in a moment. Once again, I hope that there aren't any actual time limits. Like, oh, you spent too long walking around our big-ass map. How dare you? All those people are dead because of you. the game would actually function. save time. Green, purple to the side. Orange, blue, orange. Orange, green, purple. Whoa. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. We need help with the towers. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. The collectors will try to stop it. Good. Anything else? Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. From where, though? Dang it. Enemy! Go direct this you cannot resist. Can will. I hate that it blocks my reload animation if I try and get in cover. Oh, 
clips. There's a clip. There will be more. There's always more. Just depends on which direction. This should slow him down. More coming. Guess we got there. Knock him out. We are the harbinger of your destiny. This should slow this him down. This is what you face. I hate that. Really wish it wouldn't move like that. Continue to protect the tower. Yeah, that one was just me missing. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm not trying to game Get stop. Ready. Gotta be more soon. We will glue you to random shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm using your own weapon against you. System online. A new one. Whatever. My attack was in a I'll put them down. Thank you, I think I like this, at least for single target damage. Also, that's a giant ass ship. Shoot the engines! They're pulling out! Damn it! Get away! It's too late. There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. It was a good fight, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Caden! Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter. Savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. Glad to see you, Kevin. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. It's good to see you again. It's been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. I mean, I Why didn't did you die. To contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Too much time has passed. I was out for two years. You've moved on with your career and your life. Why reopen old wounds? I did move on. At least I thought I did. But now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. 
Cerberus isn't the enemy. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. You can't really believe that. We both know what Cerberus is like, what they're capable of. I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. I'm not a traitor. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring Thank the you, real Garrus. threat. You're too emotional, Caden. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. They probably won't. Don't go. I could use Join me. like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Figured. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. They won't believe my story because they're too... Well, they'll probably go, oh, fine, Joker, the Collectors are doing the something. But they'll I've still be like, oh, but there aren't any Reapers. <laughs> still, nice to have Garrus there back me up a bit. Level 15 earned. Collectors escape with approximately one-third of Horizon's population. Front Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid, and coloni uh, to colonial survivors. Collector leader Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic, override, indication of hive mind among collectors, or even Reaper technology at work. Salvage teams captured collector bodies for study. Collector particle beam, nice single uh, target damage, biotic damage upgrade, heavy skin weave upgrade, and a nice chunk of credits. And I don't blame Caden too much. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. I didn't save everyone. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Another way? Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony, just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict Overall, which he's one, not wrong. they would have abducted everyone. No more colonies get hit. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? That's off limits. None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. My team is strong. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. More dossiers! Keep your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. Like you're watching me? On the TV? I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Hmm, we can do this. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. 
Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too. Getting some closure, you know? All right, so there's potentially more diddly -dees. But considering I had the option to like walk into it, maybe it will be more like Vermeer. But I got a lot of things. Wish I could just hit J. Let's see. Do I have any assignments? Arrival. Important message incoming from Alliance HQ. Then dossier tally! Expert in combat tech, systems hacking, strong engineering background, familiar with Normandy, F formerly listed as Tally Zora Narea, the quarrying engineer, earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat, two, uh, defeat Saren two years ago. Tally is currently on a classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty, Admiralty Board on Heastrum, deep in Geth controlled space. Just a car. A biotic strength near that of an Azari matriarch. Extensive weapons training. Samara is a Justicar, a rare member of the Asari mon uh, monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics alongside standard weapons. The Assassin, Lair of the Shadow Broker. Cerberus has delivered the information on purchases the Shadow Broker has made recently. It may provide the information Liara Tassoni needs to track down the Shadow Broker's location. Miranda, the prodigal, has a personal matter she wishes to discuss. Jacob. Uh, Jacob. Hmm. <laughs> I'll talk to everyone else, uh, and I guess line up loyalty missions, and then I'll grab these three, just to add them and, like, see if I can stop their stuff and go about doing some loyalty missions, I guess, after I read the diddly dee. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard. I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Now we just teleport here. All right, Ethan. Okay, we actually get to see you. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received yeah. word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Hmm. Terrorism charges. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What about what the good doctor herself? About the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in a battalion space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Reaper invasion. But the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. All right. Batarian relations. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. And solo mission. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. All right, and 
I guess, yeah, we'll go save I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratan. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. All right, we get more missions. Yay. I'm just trying to wonder what I should do. Wait, was that? So yeah, Miranda. Dossier, dossier. Lair of the Shadow Broker. I remember hearing about this. I think this is a DLC one, so it's not going to be top priority. If I knew Overlord was DLC, I probably would have saved it to a little bit later, too. Because I don't know. I think the DLC ones might be angled for a little bit later in the game. I do not know. Sus, 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 sus. And yeah, I'll go get Tally first. And then look about the others. But first we'll look at upgrades. And talking to everyone. We'll go... Top, uh, bottom to top. Got 13 Paragon. Retrain re powers. Biotic damage. Shepard. Hmm. I want to talk Just about you. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. <laughs> Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Hmm. Any other human imprints? What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. You have no reaction. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. And yet, you became strong. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. I got Paragon for that conversation. Always say before talking again. Shepard. Can I just check else? in? Making sure you're Humans fine. talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. Okay, dokie. That's all for now. Shepard. Now we'll go talk to Jack. See if she has anything to say after a major mission. And then we'll listen to see if they have any banter about the Krogan. Hey. Want to talk? Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Hmm. I want to know my squad. But at the same time, it's hard to tell. Is this a continuation? I'm going to say I want to know my squad. If we go into combat together, we should know more about each other. If you say so. I'm not used to being on a team. It's all touchy-feely. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. Hmm. What if I really care? It could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, 
and I'm immune to your help. Hmm. What do the tattoos mean? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Hmm. No close relationships? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Hmm. You must have friends. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. Hmm. You knew they would kill you? They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Hmm. No close you relationships. You pretty hard at not letting I've people get close. I've been with lots of people. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You said lonely. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I guess we'll talk again. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. No. I want to get to know you. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Have to be careful. Looks like the game is like, oh, you're going for the romance option, and I say no. Sharing our deck with a clothing. Well, ain't that peachy? <laughs> ah, nothing as funny as the one about Jack in the basement. All right, to the cruise quarters. So the collectors did take New Canton. Yes, but. My wife and daughter left in the nick of time. Yay! They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is. But I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Thank God for me. Let's see. Now that's for DLC, so the DLC. Allies, you don't really need to worry about Weren't them too much. originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. How may I help you, Commander? I'll Just wanted to see if you had anything else to say. You got more than uh, you did in Mass Effect 1, at least. Once again. Save for do. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Of course. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There Wait, was another, another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Only not anymore. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Miranda's sister. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Relocation. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. 
They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. I can help. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Alright. Oh, Garrus. I forget that he's on this level too. So yeah, at this rate, I think what we'll do is grab all the dossier recruitments, uh, do some loyalty missions and side stuff, and just see what happens, cause... Yeah. Shepard, need me for something? Wanna talk? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Ah, uh, still calibrating. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. And plus, if we recruit more people, we can try and get more ship upgrades, maybe. Because considering what was said about the ship upgrades, like, uh, oh, bibbidi ba, our shielding was, uh, the shielding would still get torn to shreds. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Encrypted transmission. Shepard, I've awakened, uh, I see you awakened, O'Kir's Krogan. A dangerous decision. But you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data. I'm not gonna kill him. An important request. Mr. Gnek Ejhal Esquire. Dear so or Madam, I have consulted my colleagues at the Citadel. I have the privilege to request your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Ilos. Believing these materials to be hazardous and dangerous, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the test revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit request. Huh. Oh, <laughs> is this the, uh... As a veteran, I cannot engage in council act. Is this the... Uh, Nigerian prince scam in space. Robin Reeve. Commander, the Alliance soldier here gave me this com contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the schools. Winter clothes that never got worn. Please, the Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything, Robin Reeve. Shadow Broker Intel. Shepard, from Cerberus Information Processing. We're aware that your old friend, Liara Tissoni, has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the Broker's past work for the Collectors. We've recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in the Cerberus intel. If you'd visit Il Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. Alright, next we'll talk to... I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. Can't wait. <laughs> We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? Yeah. I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Uh, Staff Commander Olenko, wasn't it? Hmm. We're still friends, barely. He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? <laughs> You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. <laughs> hmm. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going We're just well having on. an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about I you. I know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. How are you getting along with Mr. Joe? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. What do you do aboard the ship? I, op I, co I serve additional functions which are restricted at this Let's time. Let's discuss Ready. something else. Hmm. 
Yeah. Wish I could talk Not to you more. Well, I don't. Well, I don't have access to your AI core, which is probably where your actual person, personal talking would happen more than likely. Well, I'll talk to you a bit. See if there's anything interesting going on. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? Hmm. It went well. It was good to see you. That's good to hear. Anyway, how may I help? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? Oh, That'll good. She all. is the characters want to talk to you of Omitter. Let's see. Only two snipers. I'm going to keep the particle beam cannon. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. You left a note chambers. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. What's up? I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You don't want to find him? I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Hmm. Possible Cerberus connection. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. <laughs> And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? Relationship with father. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, He's still a ghost. And the ship and Tell mission. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. All right, let's go take a look. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Travel to Aia, the Alpha Draconic system. I got Paragon points. Now we'll talk to no Science Boy. Commander. And as well as look at uh, potential sciencey things that we can science up in here. All right, we got prototypes, heavy skin weave, and retrain powers. Hmm. Advanced training allows Shepard to reallocate points to powers. No additional points are granted. Shepard can complete the research multiple times. All right, each time. Uh, each time the project is complete, all points spent in powers will be reset. Give me skin weave. S weave my skin all over the place. Anything. Headshot damage, yes. I got the uh, stuff to do. Stuff to do. Biotic damage, sure, why not? It's across everything. Heavy bone weave. I have a shit ton of palladium. And that's 15,000. And that's. Biotic duration, sure, we have quite a lot of element zero. Nothing else. So off to science, man. Shepard, how can I help? 
Want to talk about you? To talk. Not now. Oh. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus, unless it's very intelligent and yeah. toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? Ah, uh, no. That should do it. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need. Me. That amuses me, unless it's really intelligent and toying with me. No messages for you, Commander. Let's take a look at the map. Oh yeah, I just went there. Wait, we haven't been here. This is an isolated system, but we were dragged here by the game. Fire. Because while we're here, we might as well gather as much resources as we, like, can. But I don't... Mm, at the same time, there might be something to actually exploring everything. Basically, once I get to a point that feels like it could be a... Like a potential thing of no return, I'll go about looking for all the galaxies I haven't, like... Well, not galaxies, but, like... S solar systems I haven't stripped mined and or if I just need resources which at this rate I don't think I will but still I was just dragged here and I was just like huh how come this is a thing that only has 25% I always strip my plants before I go to the mission and then it's just like oh it's because I was dragged there by the elusive man. Because as much as I kind of shirk my work to grab stuff from planets, the elusive man says, get on it, and I have to go. I have to go to the planet. This is a poor planet. We'll leave it alone. And from the Red Ring, this is much like the Citadel system. Nothing around. Since Platinum is the lowest, we'll grab the Platinum that we can. Maybe I should just start ignoring the Iridium. Because, seriously, we have over 400,000. And, like, the most expensive thing I've seen has been, like, 50,000 platinum. And that was, like, a ship-ship upgrade. Alright, master relay jump! Alright. Jesus Christ. Everything is over here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go recruit Tally... Then I guess we'll come here, recruit everybody, and maybe help Miranda's, like, that's a lot, eh. But, I'll recruit everyone and then think about, like, what loyalty missions are available from there. Alright, this is a red giant, but it just looks like they put a giant red sphere over... Uh, a normal sun. So yeah, I think right now I'm gonna focus on grabbing element zero and platinums. And the occasional collidium. We do not need more iridium, like, at all. That's a lot of element zero and iridium, so I'll, I'll take it. We don't need iridium. We have a lot of iridium. Like, 
an absolutely insane amount of iridium. Probe away. Probe away. It just seems like I think mostly iridium deposits. Yeah, so this is only a three planet system. bit of platinum, and we always take platinum. Go ahead and take some palladium. So, seriously, once I get to like 400,000 of something, I don't think I'll need much more of it. Huh, this place doesn't even have a... green ring, so there is one place, but we don't need to do it at the same time. We'll head over there. Well, it depends how far away, because there isn't a... We'll need to be fucking careful. I'm gonna head there, just so I can check and see if there's any anomalies. Alright, one giant planet. And no anomaly. And great, its main export is frickin' everything they already have. Oop. And a bit of platinum. Alright. And there's nothing hidden, it's just a random planet that we can't land on, yet at least. All right. Let's first. I'm gonna save. Then we'll head on in. Give it up for uh, all saves being in the hundreds. Formerly a quarrying colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable, with the high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions to today, spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. Travel advisor, Haystrom is a Geth stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Funny. <laughs> Come on, Morden. We need a scientific mind down there. Uh, let's... Squad member is not loyal. Ah, that's what that is. And, oop. and you become a true Turian rebel. It can be fired. Garrus knows how to use it. His weapon and power damage increases dramatically. Woot. Harsh. You'd think if it lived here, it would know better. Only damage my shields. I'm having serious issues with my shields. Need to avoid sunlight. Keep to shaded areas. Yeah, and you need to run along behind me. We're in for a bad time, probably.
Gate control. Activate. I missed the Mako. Ever so slightly. Fuck. Incoming dropship. Enemy! Literal drop. Enjoy. Geth are like shooting fish in a barrel. Take them out from a distance. No rockets allowed. Why are you an idiot, Doctor? Upstairs. Customized heavy pistol. We can use this. Shut up. Quit rapid firing rockets at me. I think the Geth would have better shields. Then again, I have a kick-ass sniper. I hate the sun. Got a new thing. I'm here to help. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. Orion numbers. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. Corian mission. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Fair There's enough. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. And Geth Any arrived. idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. Are more on the way. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. And what's your current you status? We can be there in a few minutes. <clears throat> Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. Walk her down to base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter that doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. Tally's still alive. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hmm. You're willing to die. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet. All the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard. I'm a Marine. They tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe. Fair enough. Stay where you are. Position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a dropship coming in. And of course they 
couldn't see that. Just go over it. Shepard, I have scanned the area and located the demo charges the forward commander mentioned. Put it on. Done. You will need both sets of charges. I love it when they just explode. Interesting. Tell where the geth noises come from. <clears throat> this ever some fight more worrying. Shut up, red eye. Clocked hostile. That she remembers everything I taught her. Use terrifying technology in unadvisable ways. Dang it. Alright, time to laser. Not typical. Dang it, that is not my laser. my laser. If I had my laser, I wouldn't have had to do that. guys need army tools? That's kind of my question. Okay, good. I want to climb over. I want to be a special boy. Here, Geth Geth. No Geth, but power cell. Let me guess. More incoming. Gone rockets. Do the trick. Your head is not built for that. Yeah. I'm taking too 
much fire. If we head to the left, we Yeah, but going to the left also means dealing with the goddamn sun. impressed that you guys aren't taking any sun damage. Oh yeah, sure. We'll just go flank them when we don't need to. Who needs to flank? We have tenacity and not giving a fuck. Excellent. Should be enough. Have to move quickly. Large impact radius. Large impact radius, sure, that sure is no pro- Well, not even Prothean mining laser, that was just a mining laser pointed at a Prothean floor. Hope you're alive. Hope you're not gonna betray me. Damn it. to get in. Gorian architecture. There's two words you don't expect to hear together. Colony is deep in Geth territory. Why would Gorians come here now? Because they sensed the, well, not sensed, but they somehow found out that the sun the base, camp. Come in base, camp. base camp is dead. Frickin' Geth. Also, give me my particle beam back. Or did I just accidentally not put it on correctly? Hello? Is anyone there? No one else has left. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I came to help. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. Hmm. Other quarries. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. Research. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Fair enough. How about use the Normandy? Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Fair enough. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. I'll see what I can do. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space. Walls of stone. And I wish that I could have seen it in better circumstances. You know, not covered in blood. We've been spotted. Die. Get the Some sort of cloaking field. Scratch one. Just the thing to help. Hot shots at a big geth. Next, kind late one. Die already! Or am I too far away to actually deal damage to you? 
Could be one or the other. Range drones against a sniper. On our left. Right, you mean. There we go. Right, one. I want to waste. Also, these drones look vastly different compared to the drones I faced on Eden Prime. Hello, big boy. Prime I recognize besides Optimus is Eden, you bastard! How about a machine gun? They sent two goddamn primes after me. And an ancient safe that uses the same technology that we use today. I guess it kind of makes sense, because, you know, taken from the Protheans and all that jazz. You like jazz. But getting credits is important. By the Colossus on ground. Colossus, That's an understatement. Uh, definitely like old times. <laughs> what? Oh. Look out! I need to get closer to use my particle cannon. Oh. Over here. Get to cover. Don't die. Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Allie's inside over there. Death killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Is she safe? Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. Can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. Suit rupture. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. Battlefield layout. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. And Col Colossus Any strategy. How to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. And what's the plan? We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one! 
I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shield. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. No, stay down. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Hostile. Ooh. Dang it, I missed it. Keep going. <clears throat> damage to game. Kindly stop messing with my aim. I'm heading to the catwalk. Doctor is taking all of my positions. What not to worry about? He took here, and now he's running about like an idiot. why when Commander Shepard says stay alive, you stay alive. Because I know how to stay alive. And besides, Tally asks to keep you alive. And I always... Just a second. I locked the door to keep more guests from getting Always there, honor my promises. Just let me finish this download. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. Value of research. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. Or killing you. I have to believe that they know what's best. I want your opinion. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. Hmm. Mission research. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Hmm. What's causing this? The Geth? Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. 
The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Hastrum's son is far too young for this to be natural. Hmm. Can you join me now? Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. <laughs> I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Because I told him to get down. As good as you said. <laughs> Damn Colossus never stood a chance. Do you need transportation? If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. No doubt there. Level up. Recruited Talizora from the for the team. Though loyal to Shepard, Talizora's antagonism towards Cerebrus necessitates observation. Also sending recon units to examine Geth activities in the case uh, in case activities on Haystrom provoke action. Got a new summon machine gun, got an upgrade, got upgrade, credits, and iridium. Also 69. Nice. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. Hmm. I agree completely. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you. Not for them. <laughs> Feel free to study the ship. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Talizora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. No, no. I uh, don't I keep on to remembering. Yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. Lol. She's a Corian. She doesn't like artificial intelligence. That's kind of like the whole basis of the Geth. And they weren't even true artificial intelligence. The Geth were just a special VI. Heavy pistol damage. Just getting all upgrades since I have the money for it. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Huzzah! Transfer request approved. Commander Shepard, per Talizora Vasnema's request included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Migrant Fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been extended, given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your requests. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rail Zora. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Alright. I do too. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I hope so. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. <laughs> it's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Corians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Hmm. How so? Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful. But with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Hmm. I'll quickly talk to... 
you, see if there's anything, then we'll head down to engineering, garrison stuff. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually yeah. transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? <laughs> we'll be here if you need me. He's the most enjoyable to talk to. To kind of, <laughs> like, even when he has nothing to say. Jack would like to talk with you. Nice, she even says it when you go by. And we can see if he has anything to say as well. Shepard. Got anything to just say? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. You are? There's a tank imprint, the Battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Maybe I need context, Conrum. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. And what is funny about Maybe that? Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't like hearing this. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. I'll still come down here to talk to him, just... I'm picking the Paragon option, which is feeling very uncomfortable. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. Normandy's the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, <laughs> Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. <laughs> a lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. Got to watch out for myself. <laughs> I just need to find where Tally might actually be. Oh, Tally's over here. Shepard, what can I do for you? Normandy upgrades. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Ship enhancement. Multi-core shielding. Multi-threading. Booyah. Shepard, what can I do for you? Hmm. Normandy status. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Hmm. Tally's work. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a quarian. Yeah. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Any more upgrades? Can you do anything to give the Normandy? My shield advantage? fortification will help, but I don't think there is much. And want to talk Have about you? Have you got time to talk? <laughs> Closer to the engine core. <laughs> we didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. How is Rieger? Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Huzzah! Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Admiralty Board. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers this, among still. my people. 
The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of I our wonder laws why and treason decisions. was poked out. That feels like a bit of foreshadowing, and I hate it. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. And how are you doing? Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Hmm. Why do you hate Cerberus? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Definitely fair enough. And overall, I don't trust them because, again, the Thorian Creepers, the Rachni, basically everything that happened in the first game. This whole mission feels like an outlier to a degree. Far too many, like, good-natured people were th have been thrown my way for this mission. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Because, like, I don't want... It's like, I, I, the elusive man is just a little bit weird. I don't not trust him to a degree, but... Well, he'll do a lot of things for humanity's progress. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Uh-oh. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'm listening. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. Hmm, justification for torture. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how so it basically might making a psychopath. biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. Experiment for no reason. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. Hmm. Other kids. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I Yeesh. showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. And finally your escape. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. I guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Yeesh. And you're sure it was Cerberus? You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out... Mess with someone's head enough, and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'll confront them. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Destroying a Cerberus base. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. 
The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. Huh. They going Fair to enough, care then. if I blow up a garbage dump? Never mind. You've convinced me. You've and lived this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. All right, let's go. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. I mean, if we're just gonna blow up an abandoned base. No problem there. And we already have Miranda's, well, potentially Miranda's loyalty mission. We're gonna talk to Garrus. The commander's put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. And we still have two people to grab. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Nope, more. Can't wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if Lots you Lots of calibration. Then again, I could have just gone back up and asked if anybody specifically wanted to talk. I have so many loyalty missions now. Oh, so many. I don't know what... My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantee that Grant <coughs> is mentally stable. He doesn't seem to be. He just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. I want to quickly do a thing. Because 100% here. Let's get out of this place. Help Jack, help Jacob. What I want to do is I'm going to quickly go to the Citadel and the uh, Omega Station to see if there's anything that I haven't bought or if there's anything new. You know, that kind of thing. Buy fuel. And buy probes since we have money for it. Alright. I just want to go down to the store station. See if there's anything new or anything that I'm missing. Because now that I have a lot more stuff. And Garrus and Tally can come with me now. The team can get back together. Huh. Two people are ready. Just occur and I think Assassin. And then there's one that we can't get yet. I've been using a lot of incinerate. <coughs> the advanced plasma rounds melt or burns nearly anything it hits. Recharge time, 6 seconds. Impact radius, 1.2 meters. And over damage. Wonderful damage. Level up that, because yes. Tally's operating at peak efficiency, increasing the duration of her powers, modest cybernetics, and immuno enhancers increases her health. Combat drone. Booyah. Let's see. <laughs> I forgot. You're the shotgun person. I kind of love it. Alright. Let's go. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Ish. Oh yeah, I forgot. There might also be new people I can talk to around about this place. Shepard? Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Nice to see someone pleasant. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. All right. Can I help you? You need something. Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. Hmm. About you. What kind of business do you do? Important business. <laughs> so important that with your help, we can change Omega. How would we do that? What do you mean, we can change Omega? You mean, kill Asari? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but 
Certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Hmm, what do you need? I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. So it's you're a discount illicit. shadow broker. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. I need more information. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Eh, fine. I can do that. My I smuggled for a jellyfish. I need you to look outside Merit's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friend. Go to Merit's shop on Citadel or Eternity in Ilium and find packages marked for Ish. Oh. It's always the end is nigh, and never the end is tomorrow. Let's see, strength boost pads. Sure, I have money. Stimulate conduits, increases storm speed. I don't know what storm is. Probably a thing I can't have. Capacitor helmet, but that's for a thing. I... Then again, that does look badass. Uh, let's see. When and how the Yosu man got his hands on the armor is unknown, but several of the signatures bear messages such as expletive, the geth, and Shepard, get well soon. Shepard, get well soon? That's hilarious. Let's see. That is only 12,000, and we have over 200,000. I'll just buy everything. So I don't have to come back here again. And nothing. Good. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest as the disease is now under control. Notorious troublemaker Archangel is no more. Though some reports that mercenaries in their employ were responsible for the death of Omega's public enemy number one, Eclipse and Bloodback. Heavy weapon ammo. I'll take it. Shotgun damage for Cali. Get plasma shotgun. Oh, she's not gonna like that. Shepard, why am I wielding my mortal enemy's guns? Killed the top dogs of Big Big Mercenary Group, so I'd say you did something. I quite enjoy the dance music for this place. Much better than Flux or I, I always I always want to say it's say Chorgora, but that's not what it is. All right. Hello again, Commander. Hmm. Goodbye. I have to go. Of course, you must have more important things to do. Nothing to see here. Much else here. You know, I thought we would have run into that Batarian that I got to back off a while back. Come on, let me in. Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. <laughs> Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And the people don't work together toward a common goal. There's no sense of family here. Just fear. Interesting. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Who me? Nah. Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, 
My job just got a whole lot easier. <laughs> I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Cheeky back and forth is Paragon. But throwing words of horrible warden monster back in face, no, no. That's not Paragon, that's explicitly Renegade. I don't get this game sometimes. Alright, but that did make a huge dent. So when we go back to the Citadel, that'll potentially get in the way of things. No, oh, wrong thing. I want to look at journal. Omega package. Yeah, and then there's that. It's an assignment, so I should be able to do it without worry of anything. Again, uh, the pop cultural osmosis, it was like, like passage of time. Let's see, still need, uh, so loyalty, loyalty, DLC, dossier, dossier, loyalty. Again, we'll do the jo dossiers. First, but, well, first, Citadel. Second. Ah, fine, I'll go get the upgrades. I'm still one old way of escape to different part of map. Heavy muscle weave. Eh. Ooh. Mass effect based weapon technology. Interesting. I have the money for it, and it'll use up all my uh, a decent chunk of my goddamn iridium. Well, decent chunk. That's not even gonna stop my palladium from going down below. Bibbidi bop. Three hundred thou. How may I help you, Commander? How's the Is crew? There I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll, That'll be all. I'll be here. We now go to Citadel Space, so I can look over. Things, stores. Dear God, I almost went to the Omega Four. <laughs> I almost went to the Omega Four relay. Oh, uh, that would have been death. I just know it would be death. It's red. Why would it be red if it was friendly? Yes, yes, yes. Landing animation that doesn't even cover his loading screen. Yes, yes, yes. Again, Garrison Tally. The old group strikes again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, we'll walk around, look for opportunities of Paragon nature. Galactic News. Examine. Interrogation room. Access denied. But I want to interrogate God. How can I interrogate God if I can? Yes? Why did you join CSA? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. All right, goodbye. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Welcome to Citadel News Desk. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> oh, this is in bad taste. Give me my fish and give, give me my mortal enemy that I can hang up in my suite. <laughs> this, oh, yeah, sure. It's like all the Reapers, they don't exist. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice correctly. What cooking school did you say you went to? <laughs> Go to cooking school. Yeah, it's just hilarious. The mortal enemy. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in huh. the Relay 314 incident at Shashi. The Tyrian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. Lol. Get a 
I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? He's still Where's arguing. My, why would you come to his Akara ward warehouse? He said they were out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service? Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious to No advertisement. Drink Wait. The spot right now? I don't think you were. You're a thing, aren't you? Tifari, now available with dextro amino acids. You could really Never mind, it's just Tifari an advertisement. Drink, couldn't you? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Absolutely hilarious. Easiest fucking. Easiest fucking Paragon points I've ever gotten. Anto Bektal is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Talok, often considered the pirate queen of Omega. While Arya's gang is mostly airtight, Anto has an eye toward outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, we're not sure. This is Arya Talok, after all. I'm Commander Shepard, and this Deliver is Deliver the package to the Ish. Oh. Fuck, I'm low on diddly dee. My tech damage is low and I can't sell shit. Operations on the Salahiel system have been cleared. Operations had previously been halted after gang activity in the area. I wonder how that Quarian quest would have gone down if I had tally with me. Yeah, that was the VI that I annihilated. Back on the moon. Hey, Krogan. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? Find someone in the scare market who knows about Presidium lakes. They say I'm a risk. Interesting. You know about fish? Welcome back. These stores are owned That's by the Dang it. We offer an I wanted to ask about fish. Thanks of for your course, time. citizen. Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with this little. Oh, you sell fish, but I can't even ask you, you about fish. The Dang it. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Let's see, heavy pistol damage. That would wipe out the last of my savings. Oh, yeah, Aniva, yeah. They just like talk to someone? Ooh, I look. Ah. It is the VI of the station. Let us head to the club. Maybe there is something there. And then I think if we go to the Presidium, there'll be, like, not much we can do there. Yeah, it's just bartender and nothing else. I don't even think we can go up. Oh. Okay, I guess we can talk to about fish in the club. You there, tell me about fish. And I can do for you? I know that you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? Nah. <laughs> I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese's gift shop. <laughs> That's what we drink? When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in. Oh, they purify it first. <laughs> if some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thank Thanks you. for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. You're coming in very nice. <laughs> the conduit? You mean... The frickin' thing that I rode my Mako tank through? That's still there? Amusing. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an 
games on an Omni tool. I have a Presidium fish. Want? Why fish? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Lol. Ugh. Asari is so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? Yeah, there are no fish. I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? <laughs> I told you. You sound so heartbroken. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for <laughs> telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. He sounded so heartbroken. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. This is why I like Mass Effect. Dumb little things like that are hilarious. I could have just left through the normal rapid transit act. Like, I'm dumb. You think that guy was dumb? I didn't even take a normal rapid transit. Meh. I am the dumb man. <laughs> but yeah, we got uh, a lot of things. Dang, I... Do I have any messages? No messages for you, Commander. Damn it. I can't play it off as like that was intentional. All right, now we're going to go to hell, where more than likely, I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll recruit two people first. Well, we'll recruit, probably be thrown back to the uh, diddly D. Come back, recruit the other person, while also talking to people while we're there and stuff. Launching probe. Yeah, that's the plan. Recruit, talk to people, recruit, and then decide what loyalty missions I want to do first. Or side things. There is there is the assignment of uh, Bibbidi Bop, Bo Jangleson from uh, Admiral Hackett. There is his. I wonder what the difference between, like, a mission and an assignment is. Like, uh, in the original Mass Effect 1, that kind of made sense. It's like, oh yeah, this is the main story and this is side stuff. Like, I think even, like, character, yeah, like, Rex's family armor, Dr. Hart situation with, uh... Garrus, that was in the secondary place, I think. Not under main mission. Either that or my brain is crumbling to dust before I even know it. That's always a possibility. Always a possibility. Give me all that platinum. Granted, I have gone through a ton of upgrades. And it's only slightly made a dent in my profits, and not even a super... It's a noticeable, but it's not gonna break the bank. But still, while we're here in a system that has a... Recharge station for more probes, I don't mind. Lots of Polydium here. Lots of Polydium. And to think, on the first few planets I visited, I thought it was only the... F well, no, I think it was the first planet I scanned. It might not have been, like, a ton of planets. But at least the first planet that I visited, I uh, didn't know I could turn the planet around. I thought it was just that side. Because I'm dumb like that. Away. I did the thing again. Like, I understand... Well, not even that, actually. Considering that you go to the mass relay itself... To actually, like, leave to a different place, I don't understand why being on a planet and clicking escape 
knocks you out to the command cockpit. Ah. Away. Just realized, that's kind of dumb. It would, it, like, the reason why clicking escape so many times to exit the uh, map screen in Mass Effect 1 was annoying was because you would go from the planet, like the planet menu, to the solar system menu, to the galaxy menu, and then you would get back to being Shepard. But in this game, all you have to do is click it twice and it go away. Because you go from planet to solar system and then actually, yeah, no? Oh yeah, I think it was a little worse in Mass Effect 1 because you would actually go from planet to solar system to galaxy to, well, not even the galaxy, but like a, a solar system cluster, then to galaxy. Like, uh, you would go from the planet menu to the solar system, and then the menu that you get now when you fly the Normandy out of the green ring, you would get that, and then if you clicked escape again, you would go to... Bibbidi bop you would go to... Yeah, I'm doing a save, because... I'm gonna quickly go to each place to... I won't even really probe planets. I just want to look for anomalies. Oh, fuck, that's far away. I hate it when system thingies are far away. All right, we're just gonna... Anomaly? Anomaly not detected. So we leave. I don't really care. That's a pretty sum. Anomaly detected. Yes. Yes. I have found something. Anomaly detected. Preliminary scans that get a high powered communications relay on the planet. Communication match known blood pack mercenary protocols. A concentration of Krogan and Vorja signals are massed inside what appears to be a mining operation. Life signs detected. Unknown species. Advise caution. I'm going to save. And I'll just look for more anomalies. I doubt that there would be like more. But scan. Just to make sure. Nothing. Also, one thing that makes me annoyed by the new system is you click escape to get out of scan mode, but if you click escape again, it kicks you to uh, Shepard instead of back to the Normandy's uh, control. Ever so slightly weird. But, alright, that's added to the to-do list. I think we can make it. Just want to look for anomalies. No anomaly. Sure, it's rich, but again, I don't really care about grabbing resources right now. Worst comes to worst, I can grind resources off screen. And now pray that we have enough fuel to make it back. Only half our fuel remains. We made it. We'll grab more probes and fuel, and then we'll head off to the last place. Well, actually, since we're not grabbing any resources, it doesn't really matter if we grab fuel or not, or uh, probes or not. All right. Basically. Basically, the one thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off on doing, like, side-side things until I get another 
anomaly detected. Ah. Uh -huh. Until we all units report to ready stations for possible anti invasion protocol. Repeat. Unidentified chip detected in orbit. All units report to ready something on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Mercenary activity detected inside a mining facility on planet's surface. Facility confirmed. Registered to Eldfall Ashland Energy Corporation. Eclipse presence confirmed. Distress beacon powered down at site. Sensors detect multiple spacefaring vessels launches from a uh, facility. All right. Yeah, my plan is... Uh, because I don't know when I'm going to get jumped by a potential uh, Thou Must situation, I'm going to play it safe and only do uh, main stuff until I get another, oh hey, here's the next main main mission, kind of like uh, what they said, like, oh Shepard, the elusive man wants to talk to you uh, situation. Until then, I'm going to focus on gathering up uh, crew and doing loyalty missions and then once I have a definitive hey this is a mission we want you to do but you can do it whenever immediately go to do everything else Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as an intrapot between the Terminus systems and the Asari republics to abet this trade the no normally c stringent custom laws of council space on product safety prescribed materials and sapient trafficking are relaxed that's disturbing. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is a colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives the same legal latitude enjoyed by human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is only now reaching her middle age, which was like 500 years ago she was born. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes and more Equatorial locations, the population is housed in arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Population 80, almost 85 million. And I mean, alien planet. Once again, to me, team me. And then if we do do t uh, her mission, we'll be sure to bring Miranda. We do Miranda's thing. Okay, first, I'm a, I don't know. It depends. We'll recruit, talk to people, recruit, talk to people, see what available missions there are, and go from there. I've had bad luck with mechs. Uh, ironically, the only mechs didn't Nostalgia shoot at me were on Omega. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Why do we get a free pass? Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Hmm. Nos Astra. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. <laughs> I can't sign anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Interesting. Trading. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Everything. Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. <laughs> you can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Hmm. Yeah. I can't believe in a sorry world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling <laughs> slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed yeah, to. Yeah, because you can't get press ganged into Most that at all. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Hmm. Liara. You said Liara was here. What's she doing? 
Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. So, door. her quest in the, this you. DLC is, I want to overthrow the, the Our trading center is shadow broker. Ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find Fuck, things I'm, on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. And I'm poor and I can't buy any of them. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. God damn it, I'm poor. I won't be able to buy everything from the shopping kiosks. And... Oh, for a moment I thought it was a person kneeling down, when in actuality, it is just a volus. Sell at 25. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I want... Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Terrorist Former attack. hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible oh, that. for the attack on the colony, yeah. known the only meteor. as Gallic, remains at large. Are yeah, because they didn't want to blow up everybody. He's at large, yeah. And so are the bodies of the goddamn people. Why not? Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Yes, you're it is me. Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I'm listening. I'm trying to think. What kind of friend did I make? Uh... There was Keen. There was the Hanar. That I did smuggling for. There was the... Basically, the IRS agent that arrested the CEO. I can't think of anybody actually on Peak 15. Who is it? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Hopefully. Shepard, we hide. <laughs> we borrow. We burn. The Rachni Queen! But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Considering that she... I don't know. I'll have faith, but that's the Paragon option. But... I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. Yeah, that's that what I figured. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Hmm, Rachni encounter. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. How did you get back? You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. <laughs> they remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. And the pirates? What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Uh, Asari's purpose. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. 
I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. I trust the Rachni Queen overall. So, but still, that sounds you too easy. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. Ever so slightly. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. She has a point. Rachni location. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. Because they moved After around? After I met the Rachni Queen, ah. that information was removed. It's not painful, hmm. but I simply don't kind of remember. A contingency. I'll remember when I need to. <laughs> and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. And finally, meaning of the message. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Some things soured the voices of her people. They were controlled. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes That's you my belief. are fighting I think the, the ones Rachni... who did that, and she promises to help. She means the Reapers. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors I were think forced I may have into war that against the first their one. will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thanks for the message. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. A very weird encounter. But I... I trust the Rachni Queen. Hmm. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. Huh. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Aren't you? Let me guess, the Novarian Shepherd? IRS member. You said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget <laughs> I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna yeah. Parsini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. It was my pleasure. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. I have a mask. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I'm hitting on the Collectors. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, <laughs> a tough job involves more paperwork. That meant something. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later? Sure. All right, and though. don't forget to drink your beer. Because there's something underneath it. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk to her and show me the good stuff? <laughs> ah, might as well work for her again, because she doesn't seem like a bad sort, even from the last time we talked. Bypass module. Doubles the time limit for bypass. Metagel. Kestrel. Damn it, I want to grab some of these. 30,000. Kestrel power pack. Kestrel armor. Kestrel armor system spinal mount processor synchronizes so that increases melee, weapon damage, shield strength. Increases shields and melee damage. Increases weapon damage. So there's like a lot of like little things. And hmm, I don't really need that much time for bypass. Because I'm doing pretty good so far. And unless it gets harder, and I don't think it does. 
The unreliability of purely software-based security has given the rise to electronic locks based on physical as well as electronic keys. Marketed as unhackable, these locks have gained popularity. Omnitool manufacturers responded by adding universal key capabilities to modern Omnitools. These require some level of skill, like a pick, uh, lock pick, but software assistance makes it possible for competent operatives to bypass most locks in time. Improvements to scanning and autocorrection software make it possible to work locks over without triggering defenses. I'll go buy some Kestrel armor. Use this weapon, shields. I like me some shield upgrades. Increases melee damage, weapon, shield strength. Maybe I'll use that because then I can maybe I can see my face again. I'll go ahead and buy that. And I got Paragon somewhere. Was it talking to her? Was it buying something? I don't know. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Too bad I'm Feel poor. free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender, everything here and so I don't have much money. I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small oh, discount. And I already you bought everything. Special items in, you can take a look. God damn it. Hmm. Special items. What item. kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Hmm. I want some advanced merchandise. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. What about the schematic? Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. Yeesh. I, I need to go. I, I have to talk to my lawyer. Lol. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Well, I can get the bypass if I want to now. Yeah, screw it. This should come in handy. I wonder if she cares that I just bought stuff from her. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. You love doing this. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. <laughs> I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> Gianna's history. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Hmm, Gianna's plans. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over the until I have to go back star. undercover. star! Dark energy in the car, causing it going red. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. Be the only new people! Part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Eesh. But you enjoy it. Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It was good to see you. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. 
You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. You've kissed a helmet. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Right in front of my quarian? Arrest just the asshole. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Good to know. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If yeah. he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Interesting. Bachelor party. Listen. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that yeah. means you get a bachelor party. And if you're really holding out on me, I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh -huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. My fam. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Conrad. Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? What are you Shepard? doing, Conrad? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. Did I shove I a gun in his face? So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. For crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? <laughs> what, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. Exactly. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad's training. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You I don't remember shoving a gun in his face. You saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. The N7 armor. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Lol. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supported. She even paid for my shuttle fare off -world. I think I ruined his marriage. What's your job? So you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask and yeah, I didn't shove a gun in his face. I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk. The only to people them. I've shoved guns and faces have Sometimes been I in this game, not the first you know, one. For extra in the rates. last one, I said no, you should stay home because I need people on the home front. I didn't shove a gun in his face. At least I don't think I did. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Hmm. What were you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an underground <laughs> cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. 
Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Let me handle I'll this. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Again, I never shoved a goddamn gun in your face. Dang it. I hate, like, proximity based movement thinking. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone who needs food you can eat. Okie <laughs> dokie. Okay, okay. I, I never shoved a gun in his goddamn face. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Lol. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. At least something good came of me dying. something very big listen I know the data is vital to the Carosa family the son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack I'm lucky I got out at all her mercenaries were starting to shoot if she lets us back in I'll get it I promise if not well we'll just have to hope what's going on excuse me I'm on an important call damn it I'm on an important call yeah on Bluetooth real question is, where's the goddamn assassin and just a car? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Everybody's busy today. You know, except for my super fan, who lies about shoving a gun in his face. The council thought that Blasto, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. The first <laughs> Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. Uh, that is a giggle. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. <laughs> All right. Don't have any money to spend there. Don't have any money to spend there. God damn it. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. He's Can I help you with something? Conrad Werner spoke of you. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. He told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. Lol. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. I'll help you. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. She's gonna go get killed. Gonna help. Lol. Amplifier plate. Increases power damage. Assault rifle. I need more money. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Model Alliance Cruiser. Model. I only have 500 credits. <laughs> Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn you. I did not know that there were Krogan poets. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry. That damn ah! Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Do you need help? Is that Krogan bothering you? No. No, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Reason for dating. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. 
What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. Interesting. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries. A few centuries. Eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Hmm, reason for breakup. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... So you're leading him along a little Krogans bit. Live long lives. To a degree. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Well, but it is no a different offense. like dating logic really for a si millennia old being potentially. Kids. You can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Nonasari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. <laughs> I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. You should take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. No problem. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. <laughs> what about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. <laughs> they didn't even have sniper rifles over there. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a... Nothing to declare? Move along. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Pharos, Saren Geth oh yeah! To the Thorian creature as a slave, yeah, you! Nice to see you, you again. It and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Hmm. How is Zeus Hope? How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. That's bad. Can I offer our people in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. That ancient of a creature, I fear definitely that after scary. Our adventure on Pharos, my Though it is interesting that some of these sorry look have different colors now. But can I offer assistance? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you green? <laughs> uh, scanning contract. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. And then the invasive have known procedures. It was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print. We apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Hmm, is this a real threat? Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Hmm. The health problems What kind themselves. of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. 
Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. Yeah. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Let me handle it. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Nice to have some conversational stuff to go about doing. Oh, I can't even use this. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's the point? Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Alternate procedure. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The you should have been upfront is not about it. Upon me to accommodate them. This is because they're human. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I think I know your daughter. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Tell me about your family. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Such a simple thing brought her to her knees. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Booyah! Star chart? Star chart? <laughs> ah, I need more money! I need more money! I need did lots of money! Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? It's not all bad. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not. This armor is very poor for cutscenes. I love that it like zooms in on face. Hades next to Star Trek. I need more money. I need more money. But now we're gonna head back to the. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? It's <laughs> horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. Like I charge for 50 hours plus overtime. Report on notorious assassins being
nice to have just like conversation things. And now I have to head back. Deal with my rowdy fan because I never fucking shoved a gun in his face. And like I didn't even do a secondary playthrough and like accidentally bring in the wrong the best you have, I'll make this like uh, import save. I just gave him a talking to and said, we need people like you on Earth. Or like back here, on the home front. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. With the throw ability. You got had, Conrad. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. It was a sting. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Still have no idea why he was, like, being a hard ass. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Lol. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, Asari Matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Matriarch? Really? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. Cool. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. That's Dad funny. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Hmm. Mother. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. <laughs> she put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Ah. Goddess, that was embarrassing. Parents in the war. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. And then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Huh. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Interesting. You said your father fought in the Rachnat Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy, me. I go for asses. Lol. As a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from her father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Lol. <laughs> Working at a bar. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his Ouch. death a few years back. Your Harsh ships but were hanging true. bare assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We <laughs> That's can't the old Krogan talking. <laughs> without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. You seem... You seem like a, an intelligent person, and that's not sarcasm. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. 
And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Oh, that's actually something interesting. You would know that. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Hmm. Just a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink ah. a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. <laughs> Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. That is hilarious. Mystery drink. <laughs> Utterly hilarious. Kind of annoyed that the travel kiosks aren't working. Nice to hear that the Rachni are doing well. Let's do it. Let's see, where am I? This is the trading floor. Guess I'll go to the taxi stand. Wait. Hello, Commander Shepard. Oh, Liara this is where Liara is. To see you. Hmm. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Hmm. Do people respect Liara? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Of course, Commander. I'm gonna quickly head down to the taxi stand. I got turned around. Kind of annoyed that all of these kiosks aren't working. But again, I, I'm still wondering what the hell happened with Conrad. The only time I took my gun out, I think, was during the, like, uh, like the second one where I posed with my gun. I'd never pointed it at him, I don't think. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are boots telling you to do I'll never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because oh. it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. The clips mark some just a car. I don't know. Just Nobody a car. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. I'm on a call. Guess I can't do anything until I contact Liara. I assume. Even though I hear about the gist car. No, go talk to Liara. Oh, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. <laughs> All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally like required. Complaints about our upcoming films blast to But so far that bartender is the best bartender in the game, most mostly because she actually talked to me. The one back on Omega, none of them talked. I don't even, No, there was a bartender in Citadel. I don't think I tried him. Because I just decided, you know what? I'm done. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! <laughs> Nixeris, hold my calls. <sighs> Shepard. So, flame people alive with your mind. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Hmm. 
Sources. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. And a, mo a, a flesh you, flare. Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Hmm, you're well informed. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. Hmm. Samara. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. She's being tracked. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. <laughs> Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. <laughs> you just knew that. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. Yeah. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. And that's enough question. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Hmm. Might as well ask. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. Of things. Do you need help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Hmm, just tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Goodbye. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Hacking security nodes. Oh, that's what those are. They're not kiosks. Or maybe they are. Looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Yes, yes, we already know. I just need to look for any security terminals that there might be. I think my crew is starting to take notes from Sherlock. Uh, Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. So then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go naturally. Oh, so he's an idiot. Completely hilarious to hear about random people's goings on as I walk about. I need minimal heat increase. Also, I find it hilarious that I completely dunked on two separate selling kiosks just by talking to people. I got discounts, and then they just went poof. Well, I might as well grab the assassin while I'm here. I don't see any, like, security terminals, though. For downloading. Doug. Serena? 
Who wants to know? Some of questions. Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. By the boxes. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Just how to get in contact with you. Where is he? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nassana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. Fair enough. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Lol. Hm, opposition. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. And Nassana herself. Why does herself. that name sound familiar? She was Silence a representative phone. on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She oh, had to kill her sister, the slaver. Her. I thought that was just a rumor. Lol. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. Well, uh, where's the assassin? So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. We look and there's just an explosion in the distance. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Hmm. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Hmm. Let's go. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. I'll go ahead and get the assassin, and then I'll think I'll turn in for the night. And then we'll get the, uh, the just a car next time, and uh, do as many like loyalty missions and stuff in preparation, because I feel like, like I don't know, I don't know how to handle things. I'm just going with my gut. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more. Basically, again, wait for. A so chance to be like, hey, here's a main mission daughter. that's like totally main here mission. To make sure he survives. Hmm. Go talk to elusive man in room. High pitched ow. Someone stole from Star Thank Wars. You. Including the sound effects. We'll have to get ah. up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Hmm. We'll see. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Take us in. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Ah, it's so high pitched. That one wasn't so bad. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Be safe yourself. Good luck, Shepard. Uh, thank you, shoulder pad. Merc, uh, robots. I wonder if this is assassin work. Got you. Got you. Or Nasana work. In a way, I appreciate that there's more effort into the variable of locales. But at the same time, I kind of miss the freedom of movement from Mass Effect 1 a little bit, but this is still good. you think the way the mech came from would be the important oh security terminal let's see 
Dang it. Okay, mainly orange at bottom, blue sandwich. And then blue at top, angled. Oh, right. Dang you! It knocked me down. Alright. Are you okay? He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. I'm sorry. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Without warning. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Hmm. Nasana. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? Sir, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Mercs. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. And finally the tower itself. I need itself. to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Thank you. I've got to go. You should be safe here. Thank you. Stay I safe. Won't forget this. Would be cool if I met you in Mass Effect 3. The, oh, I uh, uh, went into cover too fast and uh, didn't get to reload. Lol, you got blown up by your buddy. I'll save ammo. Heavy incinerate! It went bloody through it. Floating ball. Oh, it's for attack drone. I've never seen it before because this is the only first time we've been in combat with Tally and Toe. Got you. you better not be talking about me. Hope I blew your bloody arm off of that jerk eclipse. Must be a fun time for you, Garrus. Dang it. <sighs> Inferno grenade! I hate you. Luckily, now you're dead. Down. 
You really shouldn't shoot at Commander Shepard. Man, getting shot by a concussion grenade and a sniper rifle shot. Today is just not your day, buddy. And, well, it's not going to be your tomorrow, either. I forgot I need to activate my damage boost and shield penetration. Hey, I think you went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the sand is not paying you to stand around. No idea what you're doing. Well, at least we know somebody's over here. Damn you. Hate dudes of shields. You have not engaged anything but the Grim Reaper. And he says he wants a divorce. as much as uh, the Blue Suns, but that's not uh, much to talk about. What? No idea why that Loki managed to survive. And that was the only way. I am a very blind man. Well, at least biotics aren't nearly as annoying. Grab a uh, life insurance. Life insurance. Uh, I feel like it's more applicable to your life situation right now. Just a moment. Access. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? Yes. It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here... When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Or at least, Here for out of the way. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. It's always hilarious to hear Solarian's <laughs> curse. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana. 
Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Sounds miserable. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're ah. stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. And she we kills you to get out of the contract. To disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? And assassin. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. And finally, workers. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? <clears throat> Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. And finally, you should go. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. <laughs> because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! Lol. Uh, at least I'll be able to pay for those star charts when I get out of here. Hmm, another security terminal. Uh, Viper rifle. Interesting. Okay, we begin with orange, green, orange. Orange. I did not do that. I went down one. I did not go over that far. Wait. What? 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 Where the hell am I? What? What? Where, where, where the hell am I? Where did I save? I'm confuzzled. This doesn't... Am I just dumb? Because none of this looks familiar. None of this looks freaking familiar at all. What the hell? I'm trying to remember. Okay. This is kind of familiar. Now you're losing me. Okay. I don't remember that door going up creepy stair. Well, not stair, but slant. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I'm probably just losing my mind. Doesn't help that this is very similar to what's before, but I guess let's head up. Seriously, this is, this is not familiar. Okay, now this is familiar. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the is not pulling the out of course. Yeah, I just went temporarily insane there for a moment. My memory is hell. <clears throat> you knocked him away from my sniper shot. We got him. So yeah, I just went temporarily, like, insane. You had to turn your head, didn't you? Because of shot ready. You'd think I'd be able to shoot through glass a bit better. Goddamn Shepherd. Firing a high impact shot. That one hit. And he just went into the hall for a moment.
I need more ammo. Alright, don't know why you just went down immediately. Also. save here go hack the terminal come back for conversation get all information because yeah I did not make the critical mistakes that it said that I did over here game all right they were from the they both looked the same so I was a little worried there Oh, and it just gave me my... Alright, that's going to be interesting to use. Probably less powerful... ...compared to some everything else. But it'll be interesting to use. Kind of annoyed that it basically just like, Here, have... Stand there, Please, just arms at my side. We'll go. We'll see go. people immediately draw guns. Look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, yes. right? It's one reason I'm Thank here. you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. Well, when he found well, us, I thought locked we were you dead. in. Assassin? I just gotta treat people like this. It always comes back to bite you in the I need to get to the They're still working Hold up too. I hate working up there. Just get That's all that information. Unpleasant, to say the least. Sounds well, miserable. We would if we What's could. Our contract. We hear that but who wants to find out for sure? If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Not a lot. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. And you should go. I wouldn't stay here. I was just thinking that because she doesn't have a <laughs> Aim for the head because she doesn't have a heart. Considering that she wanted me to kill her sister just because it could ruin her <laughs> reputation if it got out and her sister was a slaver. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Perhaps we should find some cover. Enemy, have a pleasant day. Got it. You're an idiot, Garrus. I missed my other sniper already. Garrus, why do you have to be a, have a terrible AI? Burn. have to bring Garrus back up. Okay, good. Garrus, you have terrible taste in cover. I order you behind, you look, I'll get in front. I miss my other sniper rifle. Granted, it has more ammo, but... I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. You should worry about it. We don't need any reinforcements. Lol. I'll take care of it. It's under control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around very slowly. I'm Damn. looking for Thane. <laughs> Damn. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? I've got an offer. Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all I over you. would have been so satisfying. Don't be stupid. I hope you can fly! Is a little information really worth dying over? He's Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. It's two people. Get out of here. I'm going. If 
He owes you one. Anybody else would have killed him. Well, I'm not just anybody else. I'm Paragon. Genetic information for the corrosive. Hey, I can talk to that dude! out, downing into me in one shot. Priceless. Then we hack this door. And because the hacking decided to screw me a minute ago, luckily it's not the one that would prenaturally screw me. Still. Are you guys alright in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. I'll help you. Hey, do it, I'm I mean. Not the bad Bang. guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. Thank you, Talon. I uh, don't feel so... The stress. Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? I don't think so. It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Talon was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. Hmm. The bridge. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. Hmm, penthouse. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. And Thane, I'm the guy she's something. hiding from. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Hmm, you should get out. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Talon, come on, get up. We're going to get safety. Can we go home now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor We're guy. Thank you. All right, blue upper, orange down. Okay, orange with purple and then orange. A little bit of blue mixed with orange. Right there. Thank God I got the upgrade, I guess. These are definitely getting harder to hack. Where is everyone? Will be a fun time to meet you again. Oh, somebody, please give me a report. Don't worry, I'll give you a report. Give up. Your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Ah, <laughs> oh, do I miss my previous sniper? 
I prefer the one and done. auto-equipped this time. Maybe I hit something. Oh, that's why. It's super-fired. It's a super-fire sniper rifle. Right behind you. Yeah, I can get my sniper back. Listen, it's all well and good. I just like this. Because super damage. I'm all down for super damage. Can't maybe not doesn't carry that much ammo. Forget the explosive before behind the Ah, this is so much better. Barrier and health. Tally. What are you doing? You leave my alien girlfriend alone. Ah! The sound. Yeah, the sound alteration is hilarious. Don't see anybody, uh, but they're gonna come out of the woodwork the moment we get there. Okay, orange, green, purple. Green, doo -doo. green at top, purple everywhere else. Oh, you know. Hacking is getting harder. Need to take it. This looks interesting. A bit slower. Gonna go ahead and save over that. They've seen us. I shot you. That's kind of annoying, but it knocks me out. Need more. Rocket turrets. Firing eye impact shot. Coming. What the hell am I paying you for? 
Fun fact. Don't pay people. over here. Why is there cover in front of the store? Makes me feel like there's gonna be bad things in there. Somebody wants you dead, and I want that person's help. Shepard, but you're dead. I've been I hearing that, that a lot. <laughs> That's a, I got and, that, and it's not a lie. Interesting idea. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You still think it's me? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying <laughs> my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Hmm. No, we can't. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? I met some of your workers. You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. They're not in the entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to- He looks cool. Resquare Scott and Pache. Kind of actually. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Hmm. Hello? I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Why? Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. Hmm. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. Hmm. You expected me. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Hmm. I wonder why... Hmm. I want you on my team. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. We'll find a they way. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. 
and you might have an upgrade for me that I would really, really like. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Huh. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Are you sick? You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Hmm. I'm sorry. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. He seems like a nice guy. Level up. Yay. Mission summary. Recruited Thane Cryos. The team. But medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing public damage to Dantius Towers. Sniper rifle, submachine gun damage, and credits. Credits. Successfully recruit the assassin. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. What's the problem, Jacob? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. I like this guy. He seems quite civil. Give him a chance. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. I got Paragon! What's this area of the ship? This, in it, this allows lag-free communication. That's all for Logging you out, Shepard. Alright, we'll check upgrades. Then we'll check and see if there's anybody that wants to talk. Get some machine damage. Do, 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 do. Extra rounds. We'll check our messages. Then I check my messages, but I don't have any messages. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. It could happen to you. He asked the ink handlers. Send this to six beings of your acquaintance and your greatest wish shall come true. Appreciate the help. Elizabeth. Hey, Shepard. I heard that you what you did on Ilium. I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving it barely. Most of ex Exogeni left. But I stayed behind as an attaché to make sure that nothing was left behind of the Florian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate. Good luck and thanks. Zoo Hope is uh, alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Lisbeth Bainham. Concerns re keepers. I hope if this address still works, I promise to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out that the keepers are bioengineered and based on the comparisons to some of the material from Sk Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. Yeah, we already found that. Sorry to keep you waiting. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by somewhat something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic uh, readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a little... It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see if you uh, see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time this signal went off, would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled. Yep, Chorbin. Nice to know that your your research went well. Transfer request approved. I thought we already did this. I well, maybe I just didn't mark it as red. 
I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. Maybe both. A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. In my case, it happens to be true, but still. <laughs> anyway, what's up? How's the crew? Anything I should know? Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Morden boy, that'll be all. My Morden boy. Morden. What is it you wish to talk? Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? <laughs> yes, I remember. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Hmm. They know what you did? Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. I'll do what we'll I can. We'll go to Chanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. All right, well, see if there's anybody else that wants to talk. And then I want to check out my armors again. How may I help you, Commander? How is crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Hmm. I'll still jump down to like Garrus, uh, Grunt. We already have Jax. Oh. It feels like some of the fish disappeared. Weird. Increases weapon and shield strength. Let's see. Increases melee damage. Increases shields and melee damage. Increases spare ammo. Increases melee, shields, and weapon damage. I'll go for the ammo pack. Let's see. Storm speed. We don't have storm. Life support increases health. I'll take that. I'll come back to having a face. Maybe. Reduces delay. Increases headshot damage. Meh, it looks a bit wonky. I kind of like having a face cover again. You know, I haven't had my music playing. No. Hello, my space hamster. Squeak. All right, we'll go talk to Garrus and Grunt. Oh, and Tally, and Tally. forgot that she's down here now, even though I've been using her on missions. Shepard, what can I do for you? Hmm. Your work. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Oh, never mind. I, I was thought worried we... about working Want to talk about you? you I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Okay, dope. Talk to you later. And let's go talk to Grunt. Shepard. Hmm, anything? Our humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Even if he does find out find out that he hates Turians, I shall still try to turn him to the light side. Only hate some Turians. Let's 
see if there is anything going on. Shepard, need you want to talk about middle? anything? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle. Talk to you later. I'll be here if you need me. So much calibration. But doesn't seem like anybody else wants to talk. But we have lots of loyalty missions to do after we get the uh, Justica. But that will be for next time, because we're going to go back down there and see if we can buy many other things. Oh yeah, and I can hand over the salary data, or the Salarian family data. Packages for like, there's, there's a lot that I can do. Like assignments I can do nice and nice, but these are actual missions. So yeah. We'll go get the just a car, and then probably do old blood, clear the air with Morden, get his loyalty. Would be nice to have the guy who pokes and prods you medically to a degree not uh, maybe want you dead. And yeah, and buy those star charts, there's just lots to do down there. But we shall do that next time. Yes, yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, a edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, and an archive channel where all of these streams eventually end up, Neon Icy Games. And if you're one of those people that are already watching on the archive channel, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And if you want even more from me, I try to upload art that I do to Twitter, Tumblr, and DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, all of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.